this is the troubleshooting virtual box remote display. The first thing you need to do is to actually get the extension pack for the virtual box because without the extension pack the system is not actually going to work. Now since I already have it installed, it's going to say we install here. I just agree. Uh, so yes. And it will install itself. The thing we need to do is to turn the service on from settings, display, remote display, and then just turning it on. The reason the port number 5002 is selected is because I'm running a Windows host and I already have the remote desktop turned on, which would cause a conflict, which we will see in an error message here. Now, if you haven't installed the extension pack or the service is not running, you're going to get this error message here. And here we can see how everything should work if everything is properly configured and the user's proper IP address and the proper port.